Hey girlfriends, hey guy friends, it's your Brie FF and I am coming back at you with another video. This is just going to be a very brief chit chat and I just wanted to make this video to give you all a outlook on what I am going to be doing here on my channel in the future. So here on this channel, I am wanting to share with you all um, just any life hacks, tips, anything that I might find to be useful or anything that might be inspirational to you all. Um, I also am wanting to share what I currently am interested in, what I am going through, if it's anything that I feel that you all can benefit from. I want for my channel to definitely embody my handle, which is Life with Brie. And so um, because of that, you know, I'm a hairstylist. I absolutely love doing hair, but I do have other interests and other passions that I want to really delve deeper into here on this platform. And one of those is for me fitness and also just making sure that not only, you know, I'm in the best state of health, but also that I'm mentally healthy because I feel the two go in hand. Your mental health affects your physical health. It is so important to just stay mentally healthy. I just wanted to have a brief chit chat with you all about protecting your peace and why it is so important to do that and how you can. Protecting your peace, I know that it's a term or a phrase um, rather that's thrown around like always on Instagram. You see it, you know, people making video topics about it here on YouTube. I feel like you have to protect your peace because None of these people are paying your bills, number one. And protecting their peace when it comes to dealing with other people that cost you your sanity, your patience. If it just makes you not really be able to make sense of something, to me, that is when your peace is compromised. And I think that that's kind of like the huge red flag that's being waved that, hey, you know, you can't make sense of what's going on here in this situation. It's not going to do anything but confuse you and confusion does not equal peace now i know that there are trials that we're all going to encounter on a daily basis in life that are just unavoidable you know conflict um you know sometimes issues arise sometimes difficult people or difficult personalities are a little bit harder to avoid because I think in this time, everyone is kind of dealing with something. I think if it's not from social media, you know, health, um, people going through COVID, the pandemic, it has caused just a lot of people to kind of be on pins and needles with anxiety or frustration from just dealing with the unknown. People benefited from COVID. Some people were able to make a lot of money. They started businesses. They took advantage of, you know, whatever loans, whether that was legally or illegally. Um, but then some people really suffered. Some people lost their jobs. Some people lost family members or people who were close to them. Some people had health scares themselves that really did cause people to be in more of a somber mood after everything started going back to normal. It's like, you're not going to tell us that everything was affected so much that we had this huge shift and now we're going to go back to normal. There is no going back to normal. It's navigating the new normal, but that's another topic for another day. I think that just in terms of protecting your peace on a level of encountering people or situations that cause you to kind of step outside of your normal character. I know that, you know, there's different personalities. Some people really thrive with more chaos. Some people love, you know, always having something going on. Drama is what I would refer to it as. I find myself to be more of a laid back person. I try to just have as few problems as possible. I try to be as optimistic as I can. And I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that, you know, I always see the silver lining and every day is such a cheery day for me. It isn't. I go through trials and it might get me into more of a somber mood, but at that moment, I try to reflect and think about what I am grateful for and realize that it is just a temporary situation. You know, trials always pass. You always end up going on to a brighter side and, you know, grow from whatever it is that you've experienced. And then hopefully you also will feel comforted in knowing that if something like that ever happens again, you will know how to navigate it. I think that protecting your peace 
you have to first establish boundaries. That's been something that has that has greatly helped me. Um, you know, I want to talk another day about people pleasing and how you can stop caring about what people think about you. But I used to be that type of person who was so consumed with what people could think about me. I have, you know, I know who I am. I know what type of person I am. I know where my heart is. And I fought so hard, I think, with trying to get people to see that, that I stressed myself out. There would be times where I would just, you know, be so consumed with the possibility of what someone else could think when they saw me or when they talked to me or even after getting to know me. And what I realized after also, um, you know, talking to my wonderful therapist is that what people think and what others think about you is not in your control. You can't control what anyone thinks about you. You can't control what anyone says about you. All that you can control is yourself. You can try to put your best foot forward, your best face forward every day, and someone will still have something to say. Now, I say that within reason that I feel if you are, when it comes to, when it comes to dealing with like your family or very good friends or just close people, you know, if you're in a romantic relationship with someone, I do think that you have to take into consideration what those people think and feel because you want to maintain those relationships. You don't want to just simply let them fall by the wayside because having a mindset of not caring can get you into a position of just being alone. And if you are okay with that, go for it. But I'm someone who wants to maintain the friendships, my family relationship. I want to also take into consideration when I do have a partner, what they think to a certain extent, not so much that it causes me to lose my sanity or my peace of mind or even my confidence that I have. My opinion is the one that matters most, first and foremost. You know, I think that you have to establish boundaries and you have to determine what are some absolute deal breakers for you. Like for me, just negative energy. I don't want to sit around and gossip about other people all day. I don't care about what other people are doing in their lives. I don't necessarily want to always have something negative to say about another person anyway, because I think that when you talk in that tone or in that context, you get used to it. And it starts to become second nature to where you're always criticizing, you're always scrutinizing someone or their actions or, you know, what you think about something. And when you start to train yourself to become more appreciative of things and maybe start to center your thoughts really around yourself and around the things that you're grateful for, around the traits that you're happy that you possess. And when you really maximize on those things, I think that it shifts your mind into a way of just thinking positively and more optimistically rather than so pessimistically. For me, establishing boundaries was something that has greatly benefited me because it has almost taught people how to treat me. This is just an example. I will instantly shut down like, you know, if I'm dealing with someone and they are going on and on and talking, you know, crap about another person or if it seems like all that they're doing is gossiping, I will try to change the subject. I'm not going to sit, you know, I know every once in a while you get a key in, you might say something, but after a while, it's like, hey, I'm not God. You know, I'm nobody's person to judge someone else. I have my own flaws. I have my own life that I'm trying to, you know, make the most of. So who am I to sit back and look and laugh at someone else's misfortunes or a situation that just isn't the same as mine? It doesn't mirror my situation. So I'm going to sit back and, you know, look at it and just be so judgmental. Once I have done something like that, then people know I can't I can't go around her and act like this around her because she's not going to entertain it. It's a win-win because I'm showing people how to treat me, but I'm also keeping my peace. I'm not allowing myself to tap into that negative energy of just being in that mindset. Working at my old job before I started doing hair, 
I was dealing with a lot of toxic personalities on a daily basis. There were a lot of people I have realized that work in workplaces and they are not happy with their life. They, you know, have a lot going on. Maybe sometimes it's something internal. Maybe it's something directly related to work, but they bring their issues into work. And for the people who are just going in to collect a paycheck, they make it kind of a living nightmare because they're always trying to stir up drama and have some source of entertainment that's just twisted where they can feel better about themselves. And I used to have one coworker that, you know, she would just try to be like, you know, really weird. It seems like she would always be up in your face and try to be best friends with you. If you ever did something that she didn't like, she would instantly turn into just a petty Betty where she would, you know, just try to be very sarcastic or she would, you know, act like she was ignoring you or wouldn't really say anything to you or wouldn't really talk to you in the same way that she would if everything was all good. So the best way that I can explain it is just acting how she wanted for you to act. If you dared, you know, shut down gossiping with her, she would not talk to you, you know, try to show you that, hey, you should be happy that I'm just talking to you. And what I had to do was I had to establish a boundary. Number one, I don't really want to be associated with someone that's always gossiping or that's so drama filled because again, I feel like bringing that energy into my own life is going to kind of get me into the same headspace at some point or another. And I also think if you're talking like this about other people so freely and openly, you're probably going to do the same with me when I'm not around. So I would kind of be a fool to ever let you in and let you know anything that, you know, is intimate for me. And um, you know, I had to basically stop interacting with her as much. And yes, it may have been awkward a couple of times, you know, when you kind of are trying to get the message across to someone that I don't want to really talk to you. So you keep the conversation short, you know, you might not be as friendly as what you were, but you have to, you have to shut down certain things to protect your peace. It was causing me to feel anxious when I was around her because I would always feel like, I don't know if she acts like this about me. I don't know who might look at me and think that I'm just like her because I'm associating with her. And again, not that I care so much about what people think about me, but I do care about the people that matter to me. And the friends that I did make, friends that I did make while I was there, I, I care to some extent about what they thought or how they felt about me. And I wanted to main, make sure that I maintained my integrity. So, you know, those were things that I definitely did take into consideration, but I had to establish a boundary where I just kind of distanced myself from her and that taught her how to communicate with me in the way that I wanted for her to, which was very short and sweet. I don't want for this to be a powwow where we're talking about people or where you feel like you can pull me into your negativity and have a sidekick. I had to establish that boundary. You know, there are some people that I feel like we could, you know, just as people who are, you know, living in the world as it is, we could probably look at some celebrities and say, I, you know, give anything to have the money that this person has, or I would do anything so that I'd be able to live a lifestyle that's similar to this celebrity, not realizing that there are people who still can't stand them. There are people who really go out of their way to make sure that it's known that they cannot or they hate a celebrity, a certain celebrity or whoever. And I think that that just goes to show that at any stage of life, with anything, people are going to think what they want to think about you. It's not your job to try to change what someone thinks about you. Now, at the end of the day, I knew, you know, she probably talked about me like a dog after I established that boundary and didn't pay her dust. But it gave me a lot more peace of mind on a daily basis while I was working there because we weren't, it wasn't an expectation that, you know, I'm going to talk to her or that she can come up to me and just start talking about whatever. And I'm going to openly listen or interact with her. So with that boundary in place, she knew not to cross it. She knew that 
the most that we can talk about is, hey, how are you? How have you been? Okay, you know, hope that everything is good. Have a great day and go on about our business. It saved me a lot of peace, um, you know, that could have been compromised had I not did that. You really do have to make sure that you are staying true to how you feel and putting your emotions first and just protecting, really protecting your peace. If you feel like something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. That's your intuition speaking to you and telling you this isn't the situation for you. And I think that you should listen to that. It doesn't matter about trying to give people a chance because what I have learned is that yes, everyone is not bad, but there are sometimes people who will just take advantage. There are people sometimes that you could look at and say, well, I just want to be their friend. I just, you know, want to be cool with them. I just want to, you know, yeah, this person might seem like this, but I'm not perfect, you know? And it's like, sometimes you can't give the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes you just have to walk away and leave the doubt there and go on with your life. You can't be concerned about what could come from it or feeling like you want to give something a chance. Because I think when that happens, things will reveal themselves to be, you know, like, oh, I should have not engaged in that, or I should have not even given this person a chance, or I should have not even went to this event because I felt like it was going to be crazy. I just think that you have to protect your peace, to stay sane, to be mentally healthy, to be on the right track just towards living a life that is fulfilling for yourself. Whether that be protecting your peace by not sitting on Instagram or TikTok 24 seven, endlessly scrolling, looking at all of the filters and all of the flashy moments that people share because they don't share their downtime. I can even guarantee you sometimes it's cringe for me to see people share their bad moments because you almost wonder, is this an edited bad moment though? You're not maybe being so raw with your emotion to where I can genuinely feel like, okay, yeah, because I know when I'm going through it, the first thing that pops into my mind is to not share it with the world. I'm thinking of a solution to how I can, number one, get out of that state, but then how I can also avoid getting back into that state. I'm not concerned with social media because we all experience bad times. So, you know, it's not like it's something that, you know, oh, I just want to show you how I deal with. I think doing chit chats and talking about things are completely different, but you have to protect your peace. And I know that I continue to say that, but you know, again, if that means not getting on social media all the time, if that means not worrying about keeping up with the latest trends, because guess what? You can go out and buy all of the hottest outfits, all of the designer that you want. There's still going to be someone that has something negative to, negative to say about what it is that you're doing or what you're wearing. So if your objective is to do all of these things because you're hoping that it's going to put you in a place of fitting in or being someone that people can look at and say, I'm inspired by this, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Do it for yourself. No different than me starting and doing my YouTube. It's because I want to share this information with you all. Honestly, if you like it, okay. If not, there's millions of other channels here on YouTube that you can go and watch what it is that's you know going on. But I share what I have on my heart to share with you all because that's why I wanted to have my channel is to, you know, be there to be a free FF to the people who are who are interested, the people who want to tune in. So, um, you know, I couldn't care less about fitting in. I don't care about talking about the latest hottest topic. That's not really interesting to me, just so that I can maybe get people to come over and you know, that would be putting effort and energy into something that I don't really want to do or that I don't really find interesting, which I would deem as being a waste of time. And it would probably be more stressful than entertaining because I really genuinely don't want to do it. Therefore, I'm not being peaceful. I'm not protecting my peace. I think that you have to just listen to yourself, establish your boundaries and set them and don't waver make those be what they are. Because again, you know, it just goes hand in hand with being physically and, you know, just 
being healthy all the way around. You have to have to definitely protect your mental health, your inner peace. And sometimes the inner peace is going to thrive based off of the outside protection that you have, the line that you draw outward for people to not cross so that you can maintain that inner peace. This was just a chit chat. It was a quick ramble. We are going to be getting into some mental health related and inspired content here on my channel along with the fitness content because I want for us to start living our best lives together. And I think that, you know, just maximizing and making the most out of our lives this year because, you know, after coming through COVID and getting back to a place of just realizing, you know, the things that I have a passion for, the things that I want to do. I want to be the best version of myself that I possibly can. And that definitely requires me to be in the best mental state that I can. And I want for you all to do the same. You know, we go through so much craziness on a daily basis. You know, you deal with and encounter crazy situations all the time, especially if you live in a bigger city. Um, and just not even a bigger city, you know, everybody has the ability to just swipe up on their phone and get onto Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or YouTube or, you know, any apps that are social apps where you can go into a world of just being sucked into all the chaotic situations that are going on. And I feel like we have to shift our energy into being more positive and more optimistic. And I'm not wanting to live in a delusion, but you have to just change your thinking. And we're going to start doing that together. And, um, you know, I think the first step to just being open to that is just by protecting your peace, realizing that this is your life, that you are the main character of the movie that you were in, which is, which is your life. You're the, you're the lead lead star of the movie and you have to put yourself first and there's no way in my opinion that you can be financially or you know physically or emotionally healthy if you are not mentally healthy so I hope that you all enjoyed this chit chat rant hopefully you all are going to be excited for this upcoming content that I have I also want to get into some books with you all that I am going to be reading. I want for us to possibly start reading the book together or just be able to discuss it every once in a while. Um, and it's gonna definitely go hand in hand with another upload that I'm going to put here on my channel, which is just how to stop caring about what people think about you. So yeah, I hope besties that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that if this is your first time here on this channel, you like this video if you enjoyed it. But make sure that if this is your first time here on this channel, you subscribe so that you don't miss out on upcoming content. And until next time.